Dog leg left, Rich. That first bunker really doesn't come into play on the right side. The one on the left is the one you've got to be cognizant of. Get something a little right of that, you'll have a uh, second shot around 160, 170 yards in. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Frank, the tee is <clears throat> Boston really starts to show its teeth here in the fifth hole. Yeah, beautiful hole. That green up ahead, though, there's three different sections. Obviously, the easy section is that middle one where it just pokes out to the left. This one should be safely on deck here. <clears throat> that is an excellent play right there. The approach, getting him another good look. Shouldn't be a problem here. Some impressive numbers out here now. Nine under for the tournament. Six hole here at TPC Boston. Always a fan favorite. What do people like about it, Frank? Well, it's like a goal kicker hole. There's these two big pine trees. And especially when you turn off that back tee. Hit it through that chute. Avoid the two bunkers on the right. You're in prime position. Uh -oh. It's certainly taken the pressure off the rest of the hole. Frank, at this the highest level, stroke play, really it seems to me to be all about not wasting shots because the margin for error is so razor thin. all their strength to sort of hack it out of that rough, missing it off the tee here. Yeah, there's a little over hey. hey. Not good, not good. Ball sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. Pull that one. Get it. Oh, okay, good shot on the dance floor. <laughs> now that's a good par there, Rich. Good third round, Frank, and a good spot heading to the final 18. Yeah, to be in the top five right now, the caliber of this field, know that uh, your game is good enough too, and, and a legitimate chance of taking home the trophy come tomorrow night. This really is what all those hours on the range contribute to this moment right now.
EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Boston Championship. Settled over 21 yards on this par four. Uphill, you can see everything that you have to avoid. Find the green. Frank, one of our colleagues at Golf Channel, Ryan Hammonds, always liked to say, keep it in the short grass. It is nice to play from the fairway. The game's so much easier from the fairway. Uh, less decisions to be made. You don't have to worry about a flyer or the lip in front of the bunker or a tree. The game almost appears straightforward from there. Get it close. Down, little Sheba. Down. Okay. Get it, get it, get it. Mm. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Really starting to shine, moves to 10 under for the tournament. Moving on to 16 now. This is one where you sort of lick your chops, Frank, because it's it's pretty short, 161 yards. Where's the challenge here? <laughs> where the fish go. That big lake on the left, that's the challenge. Surely not. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, that's a full melody now. Frank going for two in a row now. Yet another birdie, this time inching into the top five. All right, you want to bring it home in style. You want to finish with a flourish. 412 yard, par 4, 17th. What's the way to play it? Just hit it down the right side. You don't really want to mess with that sort of rock crop bunkers down the left side. All sorts of bad things happen if you finish there. Frank, you've been around this game for a pretty long time. Are players, in fact, more athletic today than they were, say, 20, 25 years ago? There's no question, Rich, they are, that we're borrowed from other sports. Uh, if you can't make the player better, you can make them more athletic. And in the end, you're still making the golfer better. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special.
Frank, obviously way too much club there. <laughs> you, you've got to think something like that, or at least misread the win. This is never going to sit down. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's, that's what, what everyone, everyone else is going to say, except him. Made par yesterday, this one for birdie. So close. Frank had the touch of a plumber right there. Yeah, you'd like a redo, wouldn't you? Wake up, wake up! <laughs> Good work right there. He'll settle for par. On to the finishing hole here at TPC Boston. What can we expect, Frank? Drive down the left side, and then it's all about the second shot. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. So in a good spot now, fairway again, and a good opportunity to make a birdie here on the par five. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Ready for his third shot, needs to hit this close. Should be safely on deck. Oh, that was close. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. That birdie will help the cause. So that concludes the final round here at this spectacular setting. Frank, uh, final thoughts on the tournament. Rich, I thought this was really a fantastic venue that challenged the players, and we saw some.